Sparks flew during a Senate committee hearing today in Lansing as probate judges pushed back on proposed guardianship reforms. Local families have been demanding changes to Michigan's laws after seven investigator Heather Catalo's years long investigation into the state's guardianship system. Heather joins us now to show us what happened today and we know you have been working so hard on this. We have for uh, about seven years now and these bills are finally moving forward but it was interesting today. Advocates for the elderly have been trying to get this new legislation passed since 2021. Now four bills are moving forward but not without a lot of pushback and a stunning development today with news that the bill that would have formed an office of state guardian has been dropped, at least for now. They took my mom before I knew it. It's disgusting. Our elderly people shouldn't be a commodity and shouldn't be able to be trafficked by these people. Families across our community are demanding change, and so are the members of the Attorney General's Elder Abuse Task Force as they fight to get four bills passed in Lansing. A system that ignores the rights of vulnerable adults and dehumanizes them and ignores the concerns of family members doesn't do justice and it must be changed. The task force has worked for years to increase protections in Michigan's guardianship laws for vulnerable adults. If you're placed under guardianship, you're declared legally incapacitated and no longer have any rights. They determine whether or not you can marry, whether or not you can divorce, whether or not you can live in your own house. The bills come from one simple truth, which is there's too many vulnerable adults across the state who have been taken advantage of. During the hearing, the head of the Elder Abuse Task Force announced they've had to drop a bill that would have established an office of the state guardian and require certification of professional guardians. We'll be coming back with it next year. It's not going anywhere. Certification has to happen in the state of Michigan. But the bills still provide several protections, including making sure probate judges put their reasons on the court record if they choose a professional guardian over a family member who wants to take care of their own loved one. How do you appeal a non-record? And the answer is you can't. The proposed changes would also expand the responsibilities of someone called a guardian ad litem or GAL. The GAL is supposed to inform a potential ward of their rights. That's something that never happened in Roderick Gordon's case because his GAL never found an interpreter to communicate with Gordon who's deaf blind. Do you consider yourself incapacitated? No, absolutely not. But the bills have powerful opponents. No one else is going to gather that information. Three different probate judges testified that they oppose the bills. So I think the consequences of the legislation would be to reduce the number of professional guardians available to serve the community. The system is not supposed to be designed to protect the interests of judges, lawyers and guardians. It's supposed to serve and protect vulnerable adults. There will be another hearing next week and family members who lost loved ones to professional guardians plan to testify. Then, of course, as you remember, the Michigan Guardianship Association helped kill the bills the first time around. Uh, I know they've been opposed to some of the things that are still in them, but I also know they've been working with the Elder Abuse Task Force a little bit to try to get this to go forward. But still, just a lot of pushback coming from certain areas. Hopefully those judges can listen to the family members when they testify next. You got to hope so, because since we've been following your story, I mean, think about it. We've had a movie in Hollywood about guardianship. We've seen it with Britney Spears, even it's with everywhere. Wendy Williams. It's I mean, it's everywhere. You and know? one person taken advantage of is way too many. Way too many. It's All crazy. Right. Thanks so much, Heather. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.